Welcome YouTube land. It's Jenny Mac here. A quick tutorial for you. I've been getting lots of questions on how I make DIY acapellas. It is very simple. All you need is this program called Amadeus Pro is how I do it. I use this for all live set recordings um, and for these DIY acapellas for all production. I use Ableton Live. Jump on that. Uh, for this, uh, you can only mix down and save 10 files in the demo version. I'd recommend just buying it. You're going to use it a lot after you try it out. You're going to love it. Just buy it. Make your life a lot easier. And uh, this is how it is done. I'm going to show you how I made a DIY acapella that got lots of good response on the YouTube channel, the Rihanna Where Have You Been acapella. Uh, I actually used the DJ Vice remix to make this happen. A couple quick things before we get started. The highest quality mix down of the original tracks is what you want to use in this process. If you use 128 or YouTube rips, it's going to sound like ass. So go ahead and just find the 320 or even better, the Wave, if you have access to the Waves. And um, we'll go ahead and get started in this right now. We'll go ahead and type in the browser. Thanks to all my record pools, I have 30 million versions of the same track. So we're going to go ahead and just pick these two. Now notice the quality, about the same. And let's go ahead and open it up. All right, first things first, we're going to take the instrumental and we're going to zoom in so you can see how this works for the wave shaping process. Notice how um, for the kick drum, waves go down and then up, down and then up. We're going to go ahead and select all, Command A on a Mac, and effects, stereo utilities, invert phase. Now watch the phase, see down and up. Now it's up and then down. It's been inverted. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure the whole thing is selected. Command C to copy to the pasteboard. Once that's done, go to the extended mix of the same track. And we're gonna go ahead and add new stereo track. Click on the open track that was just created. Command V to paste. We're going to zoom in and get as close as possible to the beginning of each track. You can see there's some space that doesn't line up perfectly. So we're going to go ahead and chop off the beginning. When we zoom in further, it'll make this a lot easier. Go ahead into this horizontal zoom and zoom in close as possible, as close as possible. And notice when I click the top track and double click it it'll play the original but not the bottom part for the bottom part to play together push space bar you can hear already it's starting to phase out a little bit so we're going to go ahead and zoom in back to the tiniest point possible on the zoom bar and let's go ahead and try to line it up perfectly now, we're getting close. You can still hear some high-end frequency sneaking through. Let's tweak it some more. Oh. That sounds like the winner right there. Once you zoom in this close, just tweak this little, call it a handle right here, and just tweak it left and right. If you get lucky, you'll... Get what happened here, it'll phase out almost perfectly. The high part's sneaking through. If you mash it up or remix it, it'll phase out with the synths or the beats behind it. It's very um, easy after you mix this down. So, to get the actual track, go to Sound and Flatten to New File. And let's get a visual of how this acapella looks. You can see this looking at it, comparing the before and after most of the instrumental parts phased out the original parts and let's go ahead and just sample it real quick voila if you can hear on the parts here more of the instrumental sneaks through you can chop that up with prior parts in the track or you can just EQ it It'll get rid of those sounds. But 
For the most part, you got yourself a stellar DIY acapella. Let's go ahead and save it where you want. I'd also recommend when you save it, go into your settings, constant bit rate, 320. You can go to zero if you want. I just use it at two just because it's, you know, I've not noticed any difference in quality. Uh, myself, tag, sample rates. There you go. It's that simple. Johnny Mac, check it out. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to post up tutorials hopefully once every week or so. Uh, I'll also post up all my remixes and mashups and bootlegs on this page as well. Thanks for watching.